Yeah, I, I don't see that offensive at all. One, because she's not wearing our, you know, the traditional cultural wear. I see the little feathers and stuff, but yeah, I don't, I don't see it being offensive. I don't see anything wrong with that photo. <laughs> I think it's very like a 70s fashion kind of thing. The only part that I could see that would be offensive is feathers, but I mean, feathers were worn even not exclusively by Native Americans. We actually, our feathers are sacred and they're never fake, never fake. So like comparing our culture, you know, to a piece of plastic in this girl's hair is just like, no. Like, I think at this point, people are just trying to be problematic. No, because it doesn't look like she's trying or dressing up like she's a Native American. I think the feathers are fine. They look like, you know, quail feathers. For, for me in this picture, um, it doesn't really show anything too crazy. Um, just more, it looks more of a, like more of a Western look. I actually, to tell you the truth, I kind of like it. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> awesome. But no, I don't see that offensive at all. I mean, I, I kind of like it. Once again, nothing really wrong with it other than the fact that she's wearing show feathers. Um, unless she like actually said that in order to give any indication that she was referencing Native American culture, I really don't see it offensive. I actually really like her style. <laughs> and I guess there's not enough symbol, there's not enough symbols or not enough things in it to really, I guess, anger a lot of Native Americans or anything like that. There's not too much with it. <laughs> this is not the first time someone's ever put feathers in their hair. This is not the first time anyone's used feathers for anything besides like, you know, a bird or anything. So like, this is not cultural appropriation. Ah, no, uh, just because there's a lot of other cultures that have, you know, the face paint. I don't know. Like, I, I don't see this photo as super, super offensive. I don't know necessarily that it offends me. Face painting is done during ceremonies and things like that. And it's very, like, sacred to us. But there's a very distinct design or a very distinct way we paint our face. People were trying to call it Native American culture and everything. Honestly, that's kind of offensive because you're comparing these four little white lines she has on her face to paintings, uh, war paintings of my ancestors. First of all, we would not do something that plain. It would not just be one, two, three, four, boom. It would be something meaningful and something that would be cherished by that person. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> that's inappropriate. So yeah, I would assume this one probably has a lot more uh, distaste for it than maybe some of the other photos. This is more to, to symbolize like leadership and these headdresses are more of like passed down from, from leader to leader. You have to be either a designated person to wear a headdress just to put it out there as fashion um, is cultural appropriation because you're taking it out of the context that it's originally used. For. This one I do find offensive just because of the headdress. It's the distinct nature of the headdress that's like it's, it's related specifically to Native Americans, whereas in all the other ones could have been referencing other different cultures. Different is, is the headdress, obviously, for me. And the other ones are just, uh, they almost look like modern day hippie kind of style stuff, nothing pertaining to what we wear. Meanwhile, feathers, feathers can be used in anything. Like, there's no specific use for feathers. I think that's wrong. I think um, in order to be an ally to any culture, you should refer people to somebody of that culture that um, can speak for that culture because taking their voice away is not really being an ally. And honestly, unless they've done like crap ton of research on that culture or actually understand how the culture works, I feel like they are in no position to say what is that culture's like 
what makes it cultural appropriation. I'm really mad actually because I'm like, oh, okay, I'm fine with that. And then like, because this one white person comments on how it's cultural appropriation, it starts this whole riot and everyone gets like on board with it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess. And I see it a lot happening now when people get really offended and mad by something and everyone else around like my age gets so like mad about it not because they actually feel that way but because everyone around them and everyone who looks like them is also calling this cultural appropriation when it all started from one comment that a white girl made so it's just starting a lot of trouble that it wasn't even necessary i think that little things that don't really mean like that, that aren't really culturally appropriating tend to build up and people just like build this resilience towards it where then when you actually have a real case of cultural appropriation, like in the movie industry, where very, very rarely are natives portrayed by actual natives, that attention could have gone to that, to fixing the problem we have there. For me, if it was to be cultural inappropriate, it'd have to be our cultural wear. What we wear for powwows are what we wear to our ceremonies and that I would feel that it would be inappropriate then. We hold things that are very high standard. We hold things very dear. But with the moment people start to take it and just start doing what they want with it and not actually looking back at what it meant the way of life, what it taught. When people just forego all the hard stuff about that culture, the way of life, the mentalities, all the ideologies and all these type of things, when people neglect that and start wearing like little headdresses or something like that and starting to make money off of it, they're missing the whole entire point of it.